Good afternoon everyone. I'm going to try to do a quick video. I do have somewhere to go soon. Um, so I was looking at little summer rain here. Uh, this is it. I've painted her um, without you guys. I'm so sorry. And I decided that, because I was working on Joseph. Oof, my giant, giant Joseph. Love this baby. Just wish he was preemie. <laughs> Um, so Joseph was looking pretty pale, and I kept thinking, like, what more does he need? So I did another, um, primary yellow color, um, all over with my usual sea sponge. So I think he's looking a little more, you know, lively, but I want to go over and add more red, you know, especially to the ears here, the inside of the ears, um, probably a little bit on the eyelids, and then really all, all over, right? So, um, yeah, so I mixed up, hopefully I don't spill this, but, um, I mixed up just my regular primary yellow, um, with some water, just to dilute it, and I always pretty much fill these little reservoirs, like uh, a tablespoon size, all the way up. Um, but I've used some, of course, because Joseph is, is quite large if you have the three months Joseph asleep. Um, also, for the red, I added my cadmium yellow, or cadmium red, sorry, not yellow. I'm looking at the yellow at the same time. The cadmium red in the golden paints, and also the, a touch of burnt umber, like not as big of a drop, just a bit. Just to mix it, you mix it up and you want kind of a deeper, uh, like kind of like a blood red. Uh, sorry to be a little graphic, but um, we need that, you know, deep red color. And then I just added a little bit to her cheeks here. Um, and then also to her ears. Just along the top here, I did some more red, and then in her creases of her eyes, and then the eyelid creases as well. And then I did, um, like, all over her head too. And, um, if you use a dry sponge, this one I've, yeah, really used. If you use a dry sponge, um, it'll leave more pattern than if you use a wet sponge. So, I mean, you can use a wet sponge if you just, you know, if you don't really want any pattern. But I wanted some pattern because even in our own skin, we've got pattern, right? So I wanted some pattern for her. And I just want to show really quick, um, adding another layer of red now. Um, I might add another yellow layer. I'm not sure. She's looking pretty good. So she might only need this red to liven her up a bit and then um, we're going to at the end do a blue layer and that'll tone down the reds if you've got like an orangey looking baby that'll also tone it down and just blend everything really well oh I was gonna show Aria but she's behind me somewhere where'd I put her oh I see her she's way over there so Anyway, I don't really have time to show her off right now, but when I do my blue layer, I guess I'll have, I'll make sure to grab her and have her right next to me. Um, on the chair next to me is actually, uh, Joseph's legs, because I needed to, um, work on him, right? So, his legs are next to me. Oh, I lost my sponge. Are you serious? Alright, hold on, people. Okay, so I got a phone call, so I went ahead and I finished the little leg, adding the red. So I'm not really sure, it'd be cool if this could show all the red, like, you know, tone and stuff. I don't know if it does, but that would be great. So I'm just going to grab an arm and show you on her little arm. So I'll show you the leg. So the arm hasn't had any red added, the leg, of course, has. So, I do this myself as well, holding up one 
arm to the other or one leg to the other. It depends on which one I, you know, usually do one arm. And then if I, um, you know, the head, I'll use the head in com to compare like this just to see, you know, do they match and everything. So she's looking gorgeous right now. I just love, love how Summerine's color is looking. So I just have my sponge. Wow, that's really bright. Love it. Looks like fall, right? Um, anyway, so I have my sponge with some paint and I'm just going to dab it all over like so. And then I'm going to use my dry sponge here. And I'm just going to go over everything quickly. Just, I want that, you know, um, pattern to stay a bit. So, that's why I'm using the sponge. But like I said, if you don't want, uh, or if you just want it to be like more blended looking, um, not little spots or whatever, um, just go ahead and use your, I'm getting some that don't want to blend very well, but use your um, wet sponge. It's hard to do this in talk. I can see why people will, um, you know, do the video and then voice over it later. So I don't know if you can tell, you know, this part of the arm has the red and this part doesn't. But I think it's looking good. And then we'll do the same with the bottom half of the arm. Or maybe this is the top half. I don't know. The way I'm holding it, it seems like it's the bottom, right? So that's what I call it anyway. And I'm just kind of quickly going over it. Now this will dry the paint right away. If you're using a dry sponge, it's it's drying it. So that's why I'm working quickly. So if I have a spot I want um, that I think maybe there's too much paint in or something, or I don't like the you know pattern that's coming up, I will switch sponges really quick. So always keep a wet sponge on hand as well as a dry sponge, just in case. So, now I do kind of want a little bit more color on her hand, so I'm just going to go over it again, just to add a bit more color, a little more depth, you know. So, now it's going to compare arm and leg. Now to me that looks like a match. I do need to add a little bit more. Well no, I think I actually like the color of her palm actually. I think it's good. I do need to work on her nails still. That's gonna be another video, the nails completely. Oh yeah, I didn't um, compare her head and her arm now. Oops. So. looks good. So yeah, I'm gonna get quickly do her other um, limbs. I always want the picture to, or the video to pick a picture of the face when I have the face up here, but that's, it never happens, or very rarely, I guess sometimes it does, but it's rare. So anyway, here is the Moraine so far. She's looking wonderful. So she is a bit still, well, up to me, very pale. But um, I'm more yellow, and I don't want to go overboard with yellow for her. So I think I'm going to do blue next, and that'll tone. Like right now, she's kind of orangey, peachy. So when I add blue all over her. That's going to tone down these pinks and make them more red and she's just going to be beautiful. So um, I'll be back 
in another video as well um, to go over her with blue and I think that'll be our final step other than the nails um, I gotta do a nail video I think um, I might already have one but I think it's with the powders and I don't use the powders and I don't recommend them because they don't stick so anyway uh, here's my summer rain so far I hope you guys love her I hope you're having um, luck with this tutorial as well. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask and I'll try to help out as best as I can. So I'll see you all in the next video.